so today I'm going to talk about whether quantitative finance is still relevant in 2024-2025. Well, this question was asked to me by a couple of my, you know, students, but also I've seen this question being asked in in uh, on Quora, the the question answer site. So I thought of uh, sharing my views on this. Obviously, you can go through the Quora blog on that. And many people who are working in this uh, field have answered to that question. Well, the short answer is, you know, it's more relevant than ever before. It is more lucrative than ever before. It is there's a need of more number of quants than ever before. And more and more jobs are being uh, advertised and, and more vacancies uh, uh, in quant finance area than ever before so it's definitely not a dying career it's um, you know it's more, not more like mainframe right it's not like mainframe programming which is getting outdated over time it's definitely not that it's in fact the complete opposite of that and unlike in in technology right one technology replaces the other there's nothing as such in quant finance right it is uh, a career that is uh, technology agnostic, you know, programming language is just a means to an end in, in quant finance. Mathematics, finance as well does not change over time. You know, mathematics doesn't change over time, right? You know, things that we study now were actually invented 100 and 100 years back. And therefore, quantity finance is still uh, quite, quite relevant, more relevant than ever before. Uh, but let's get into more details. Well, those who are not familiar with what quant finance is, it's a field that uh, combines mathematics, finance, and, and programming. People who work in this field, they use uh, mathematical modelings to solve problems in various areas of finance. You know, it could be banking, it could be trading, it could be wealth management, uh, insurance, payment, and so on. Um, and uh, people who work in this field, they're known as quants, mostly technical people from mathematical background. Uh, normally people have economics, uh, fina uh, physics, maths, computer science, engineering background. And this is one field, it's been there for, you know, four or five decades already. And uh, it's a still a thriving field. So why is it still relevant? Well, first of all, Finance is always quantity. It's always been very quantitative, right? Uh, without being good at numbers, you will not do well in any career in finance, right? Anywhere you work in finance, there will be numbers involved. There will be data involved. Even the CEO of a bank or an asset management firm have to have decent skills uh, in uh, with numbers, right? You must have some numerical skills. So it's impossible that a field as numerical as finance uh, will not use models or, or and, and for various things. So uh, it's it has become even more quantitative over time because of the availability of data, because of a uh, variety of other things. Uh, and nowadays, it's impossible to find a bank that doesn't do quantitative work. It's impossible to do find a mutual fund, a pension fund, or a trading firm not doing quantitative uh, work or uh, algorithmic work or statistical work okay um, another reason why there's so much of uh, uh, demand for quantitative uh, work uh, in the field of finance is also because regulators uh, expect uh, financial service organization to spend money and resources doing quantitative work uh, and this has gone up uh, drastically after the 2008 uh, global financial crisis, the amount of work uh, coming in the quantitative risk management side has gone off uh, leap and bounds. And then the traditional financial organi service organization, they want to compete with the fintechs. And fintechs are, you know, big time into model development, automation, and so on, right? Therefore, the, you know, traditional banks are also uh, trying to uh, to compete with these uh, new age fintech firms and therefore investing quite heavily in, in model development and risk management and so on. Therefore, the need of quants has gone up, right? The job market is actually quite quite good uh, compared to, let's say, when even I started like 10, 12 years back. Uh, things were still okay. I mean, we were just out of the financial crisis and there was so much of demand. It was such a good time. 
the more number of jobs than people available to do the work uh, but things have uh, changed a bit now i think there is more awareness of quant finance now more and more people interested in quant finance it used to be very different like in my time when i started there simply not many especially in india there were not many people knowing about this field things have changed uh, obviously more people are now interested uh but then lot more jobs are now coming uh in uh, many countries um in us in europe in uk in singapore hong kong india obviously is one place where so much of work is coming to india from around the globe um but you can also find opportunity elsewhere in in dubai in in sydney in in new zealand in in even in south africa and other african countries you can find a good uh, quantitative finance opportunities and so number of jobs are more and it's difficult to find people with skills it's a very interdisciplinary area right people uh working as quants uh they have skills in uh, multiple areas like they can code they have decent understanding of mathematics and statistics they have understanding and interest in finance and economics and and financial markets and so on but they are also willing to work in corporate people with strong mathematical and economics background they normally prefer working uh, either with the central banks or in academia right so in order to convince someone to work in 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 the corporate sector is not always easy unless incentivized right you should also be able to code you write code you should be able to write good documents high quality documents it's never easy to find someone who has got all these skills so it's very impo- uh, difficult to find people and hence uh, it's such a, a lucrative field it's a highly specialized field uh, so you can't just bring someone and train for 3 months and he will start working i mean at junior level it is bit possible but after a while it's it's lot more difficult for most senior roles you really need specialist and that's not always easy and therefore you know in europe and i work in europe so i know that in many european country they are unable to find uh, uh, qualified quants and they are able therefore they are looking uh, they they are actually uh, hiring quants from abroad from various other countries you know from eastern european countries but also from african countries from brazil argentina from india definitely i have seen many indian quants have moved to london amsterdam frankfurt um paris and madrid and other, you know various other places in um, in europe there are also many new developments many new changes that have happened over the last 10 15 years uh, as you you know you can see many fintechs have come up you know fintechs uh, were just getting sh- started uh, 10 15 years back but now they have uh, a sizable market share in the world and they are investing quite heavily in model development in especially in machine learning ai related model development but also beyond that so that's also one reason second thing is there are trading firms any trading firm nowadays you see that them using uh, mathematical models asset management firms especially the pension funds and all right they were more value based firms uh, i mean they were more into doing value research you know uh, uh, valuing company just uh, through sentiments and less through uh, using a proper data analysis and things have changed any pension fund mutual funds uh, these days uh, it's impossible that they don't have quant teams right i think at as my knowledge goes i think every asset management firm now this has a uh, quant team and banks goes without saying you know they're hiring quants uh, uh, more quants ever than ever before thanks to the regulatory work uh, in the us you have federal reserve asking the banks to uh, do regulatory work and for that they need to do uh, build models same in in europe ecb and bank of england big time pushing banks to do regulatory work and for that they have to um, good amount of modeling fintechs as well right insurance sector is as well you know insurance is also heavily regulated and they have to build models in fact insurance is one field that has been building models for the longest uh, period of time than any other industry uh, uh. now it's also a good career path right so in uh, in the modern times also right what do you look for in a career like good pay a decent work life balance and a career that is stable and long term it's not too fragile too 
uh, you know sensitive to changes happening around us now if you uh combine if if you if you look at uh, quant finance it gives a bit of everything all the things that i've just mentioned right it it's uh, definitely a career that pays you decent salary i mean it won't pay you the salaries that you get uh, at big tech firms well some trading firms do pay but not all the financial service companies will be able to pay let's say google or microsoft or amazon salary but obviously you would still make more than an average engineer or average data scientist and it's a stable career because you know you can't just start a trading firm you can't just start an asset management or a, or a bank or insurance company it's a highly regulated licensed uh, sector so uh, there's less competition so uh, most banks are systematically um, or systemic in nature, sorry systematically important for government so they they you know will always survive well there are exception obviously but they are more stable than la- other uh, organizations where there is always a competition and uh, uh from the startups and so on but you know there's much less although it's happening even in in the banking sector but uh, it's much less compared to other sectors so so jobs are relatively more stable and you have opportunities also nowadays lot more you know you just you don't have to remain as a technical person uh, all your life working as a quant like after working for 10 15 years you can move to become uh, let's say a partner at a consulting firm you know doing actual business rather than doing technical quantitative work you can become a cro chief risk officer chief data officer chief analytics officer chief compliance officer at different firms different uh, nbfcs payment companies and so on um, or rating agencies and so on uh, you can also move careers right you can move from working uh, at a bank to let's say uh, asset management firm or a trading firm you can work with the regulators you can even become an academic uh, at later point in your career so there is there are many exit options unlike in many other career so it's still quite a good career in my view especially if you have interest in finance and economics and you are a numerical guy who have interest in in uh, num- in numbers we are impre- good with mathematics and you know how to do a bit of coding this is one good career for you but whether it's for you is not something is something that you need to assess right it's you should not do it for wrong reasons uh and many people do quant finance just for money i, I would never advise anyone uh to do that uh if you're just interested in in money uh, there are other areas where you can also make good money well you have to have interest in finance uh how do you know just read a couple of books in finance just to know if they were interest uh, right watch some documentaries there are many good documentaries on youtube uh, love for math absolutely important you should have some love for math some technical uh, skills you must have in coding and mathematics otherwise you will never enjoy this career and if you have a, a background in any any technical field scientific field uh, or even economics you, you have done economics this is one really good career for you and if a best out of us the uk or europe this is an amazing uh, place or india even right even india many people do not know that there are so many jobs out there but they're simply not a uh, well trained people in this field so this is um, there's a demand supply gap and uh, if a someone looking for a stable career this is one good career still a good career in 2024 2025 so to answer the question that whether it's still a relevant career absolutely yes thanks for watching let me know your comments in the